So funny thing, I was at the games and I did this with Mark Bell, and he was like looking at me like, "You motherfucker!" And I'm like, <laughs> "He's the least flexible guy on the earth." It's good. So it's just all sinew and scar tissue. Yeah, well, that's what's allowed me to be successful. That's very true. Yeah. So. E-STEM and machines for this have been used a really long time for recovery and some different options. Athletes, hell, if you competed in college, you're really used to it, if anything else, and I can't recommend enough for recovery, but John's been using the Compex, another system, for a lot of stuff, and we're going to run through how he's using that for part of his warm-up protocol. Any type of athletes have been obviously used with E-STEM and what they call uh, you know, recovery, muscle pump, all that different stuff. Uh, what all that is based on is, um, you know, about 70 years ago, the Russians figured out that if you can use electricity to fire motor units. So based on the hertz, which is the frequency of the motor, of the, uh, the electricity, it will stimulate different muscle fibers. So most of the ones that people use for recovery are seven to nine hertz. Okay. But they found when you get up to like 50, 60, 70 hertz, you start going with uh, type two fibers, and then when all of a sudden you get up over, you know, 75, 100, 120, that's when you get type two X, which would be your fast twitch. Uh, you know, obviously the- And that's the name, of, that's the gold standard for athletes. Yeah. So years ago we used uh, EMS, to stimulate muscle fibers so that they became more available to us. What that means is by using these different devices, we can get an a just a broad and general recruiting of motor units. So the way I look, look at it is the unit gets everything activated and then it's us to teach it. So it's basically waking everything up and then we go and teach it okay. because it's, it's the single most effective performance enhancing device that you can get without a prescription in this country. Um, for it. It's, uh, it's, Electronic it's phenomenal. Electronic drugs. It is. I mean, it's, it's legal performance. So what we're going to do is we're going to, obviously, prepping Matt. Now, a lot of times we do this stuff post-workout, but we're actually going to use it pre-workout just to kind of get Matt stimulated and, and get him ready for exercise. The red, which is always going to be your hot lead, just like in a battery, the red is the, is the power, and the black is going to be the ground. So we're gonna take the red one first, and he's gonna put it, and you can kind of flex his leg right there on the tip of the muscle. So it's gonna be on the VMO and the lattice, and the medius lattice, or the lattice. And the blacks are the grounds, and those are always gonna be higher, up higher. So we'll just put them up on the quad dead center, and you can put them up there as your ground. So just like when you guys hook up a car battery, you always have to have a ground, always gotta ground everything, same deal. This is already different than how I use it. Does it say this in the instructions? Because I'm not so good at reading. The idea is we always want to use it what we call bilaterally. So what this allows us to do is allows us to check for dysfunction, or more importantly, a weak side. So all of a sudden we hook Matt up, and one side can get up to like 300, and the other side's going crazy at 50. That can be a problem because now we're, we talked about imbalance earlier today. Injuries don't come from necessarily a weak muscle, they come from imbalances within the muscles. What I do is I want you to scroll down right here yep. to where it says resistance. Got it. Now, what we can do is based on these programs, these programs are general settings to help us get to the hertz that we want. So we really use resistance strength as really 75 to 80 percent of our programming, and really only 20 percent comes from explosive strength. Right. So what I want you to do is I want you to put on resistance, All right. and then that far left key with the arrow, it's gonna show a little guy, and what I want you to do is I want you to scroll the little dude down to the quads, because we obviously have the quads. And then the next one is, this little looks like a heater, it's warm up, we're already warmed up, so I turn that fucker off. And then this little guy on the stair step is going to basically give us a different hertz. So we're gonna do the top end of the resistance. Five. We're gonna go to five. So we, so we got them. And then I'd go to 11 if... Well, we're gonna get there. <laughs> so muscles start firing. And I'm gonna keep going up and up and up. And I'm gonna take it. All right, so I'm gonna, t I'm gonna be Matt's captain. He's gonna trust me. Do you, do you have a safe word? I uh, use red. Red, okay, we're gonna go with pot roast as our, as our safe word. So bring I'm those... jacked right now. Oh. Love it. Cyber baby. Yeah, right? <laughs> no, that would be Demolition Man. Three seashells and uh, no! 
<laughs> yeah. Pork chop. Party. Feels, it's good. It's good fun. I think kink.com uses these. They do, but it's on your taint. Mm. There's not even muscles in there. It's your prostate. It's yeah. just all bottom shaft. <laughs> yeah, not yet. <laughs> well, there will be after we recruit all the muscle right. fiber units. It is, asshole. Woo! So what we're doing here is we're just recruiting muscle fibers and we're getting everything nice and fired for Matt so that when we go work out, he's gonna have more available to him. Love it. Bring all the boys. I need a bunch of sleepers in my crew. Oh, no! So, so what, uh... What here, number are we at? We in new high score? 110. So here's the thing where people fuck this thing up is every set it fires, I'm moving the intensity up. And I'm getting, you know, now you might get one set where like, wow, it's too high, and then after like a, a, a round or two, all of a sudden it becomes more tolerable. I want to always be pushing the tolerance on this thing. So I try to go up three to four every time it fires. You should be like, have that look like Matt where you're like, squeezing your sphincter trying to make a diamond out of whatever's in there right now. That's good. Oh, there is. Yeah. I carry it all day. So <laughs> his, he, he, his face right now where he's like gripping this thing, like holy shit, that's the attitude you want with this thing. All right. And uh, you just got to be aggressive and kind of push it. And be aggressive. Aggressive. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's like all right. So what's... I definitely do. So, so now think about this. Now, Matt, what side do you think is, is firing left uh, less or more? Um, it looks like to me your right side is firing much more than your left side. Okay. Does that look like to you, Luke? Yeah, because I can. Okay, so I'm going to figure out which, which two are two. Good, that's that one. So now what I'm going to do All is we're right. going to try to match the contractions. All right, do you feel like the contractions are more balanced? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> What, what does it look like? Visually, does it look more balanced? Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, snuff film. You know, this, I, this one feels like it's following, and this side's more solid, whereas this one is... Okay. Still trying to find it? Yeah. yeah All right, right well... Oh. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> <Find> it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're in the trust tree right now. <laughs> no. No. Well, my wife's gonna do it? That's crazy talk. She'll be in the kitchen and have her stop knitting sweaters to get in here and run the compacts. Crazy. Oh! <sighs> Look at the show. <laughs> cool stuff. Can I just use this instead of working out? Yes. Yes. Get abs. All right, the oh, contractions are yeah. balanced. Yeah, that feels really cool. <laughs> All right. So did you notice how his legs were kind of shaking in between? Like when we yeah. for originally started, how it was kind of giving a lot of shake? Well, now if you notice, his legs really aren't shaking anymore. And it's just basically everything's firing. So what the body is, is his body's just getting used to this. Yeah. And now the balance of the contraction is nice and balanced. It's looking pretty good. And we're working it. Good. And he's pretty good. So all we got to do sometimes is just for this stuff, we're not going to run a full program because we still got to train. We just want to make sure we wake those suckers up and it's just like roll call. We're going to go in there and, you know, bring some trash cans and get them ready. And this will be our last one. And then we're going to go do some training. And, uh, yeah, so this should be interesting. That was a much different feeling than I've ever used it for. The whole point of this project is learning what I can from people who know more than me. John, a guy who spent 10 years in the NFL, has definitely learned some tricks along the way to keep the machine running. He's a really, really smart guy. Uh, this episode, while we did feature the Compex a lot, I wanted to go in depth to show something that I thought that he's doing that's different. This isn't an ad for Compex. I don't have a code for you to use, neither does John. It's just an interesting tool. I use both this and the Mark Pro on a regular basis. I've been fortunate enough to get my hands on both. These are both expensive pieces of equipment for your average guy, but they do really help. You know, this episode was a much more in-depth look at trying to see one facet of training. And I wanted to do that. I've got some general overview episodes and then I want to have some 
more in-depth stuff focusing on something we actually did. Uh, and this one was talking about the Compex and what these guys do for a warm-up. Uh, next week I'll have another one where we actually went over an assessment test for myself as an athlete to find these imbalances. So, see you guys next week and uh, enjoy.